ladies and gentlemen, would like to welcome you aboard. We kindly ask that you fasten your seatbelt. And eat your fucking nuts. This is Confessions on the Fly with... LJ. And Flight Attendant Joe. Happy to be back. And we are back. We're back. Uh, Yay! I wasn't even going to come today. No. Yes, you were. <laughs> no, <I laughs> you came like twice it. today. What are you talking about? Oh, my. Are you kidding? Oh, what but you I'm th- I wasn't in the bathroom just a five minutes ago. I was on the sofa <laughs> oh my at the studio. Oh, this is Hollywood. That's what is. you do. That's what you do. You took a break on the, the Hollywood sofa. I'm going to try not to be dirty today because today's a serious. I know. Serious. We have to keep our dirty jokes to a minimum today's today. The, today's the Blossom episode. Ooh. Ooh. When, on this week's episode. Do you remember that? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yes, of when, course. Was it like was it like her friend? She found out. Some, oh no, somebody died of somebody drugs died. or something. There was a drug overdose, and then it was a really serious episode. Yes. And that's what today is. And today, well, we're not going to talk about drug. We're not going to talk about drug overdoses we're gonna, or blossom. We're going to talk about who she's amazing, but we're going to talk about the safety demonstration and why okay. it's so important <clears throat> to pay attention to your flight attendants when they're doing the safety demonstration. Whether it's the first time you've listened to a safety demo or the 10,000th time you've listened to a safety demo, it is important. Yes, because you may have heard it 10,000 times, but the person behind you, in front of you, next to you, may be the first time they've ever been on an airplane and they're scared shitless and they are literally watching the flight attendant like, I could die, so I need to make sure. And there are small modifications on every different type of airplane that you should be aware of. Absolutely. So, so that's what we're going to talk yeah, about today, Yeah, let's have a serious kids. episode. Yes, kids. We're going to have a serious episode, and I'm going to keep all my clothes on. I was going to say, let's lock up the disgusting bits of ourselves. Oh, so you should put your shirt back on? Thank you. Mm, I wish it was off. But um, the safety demonstration. Okay, let's talk about it. I feel like people... Definite- you've, you've heard it a thousand times. Yeah, you've you, heard Most it people a have heard times. it a thousand times. So I get it. It gets redundant and boring. I'm going to say something right out. I'm jumping in. I don't care. Jump it is, in. I Jump find in. it so disgustingly rude and inappropriate when I'm standing up front, because I stand um, and do the safety demo, and I'm speaking, and the people in the first row or second row or third row are having the loudest conversation, I will walk into the aisle and do it right in front of your face, mm-hmm. because you are so, that is beyond rude. Yeah, I if you stop. are going to have a conversation during the safety demo, because I know you're going to do it anyway, so I'm going to say that. Don't get louder when I'm getting louder. Do you ever notice that? It's, They're trying to speak louder than over the PA. me. Yeah. I can't. No, stop. if you're going to have a conversation, do it quietly and do it to the side. If it's right. that important that you need to have that conversation right at that moment. But, but isn't it shocking that you can't shut the fuck up for three minutes? Like you can't sit there in your airplane seat and read a book or read a book, listen, listen to music. music no, you have play to play on Instagram. You have I don't to care. Talk really loud. Like it's ridiculous. Um, so let's go, go ahead, to. Go ahead. Well, Sorry. no, no, no. I just no. I had to say that right out. No, and I agree, and I think that people. I th- personally, I think people don't think anything bad is going to happen to them. Totally. So they nobody wants up- to put themselves in that headspace. Right. Why would you want to do that? Right. Because if you really thought, oh, I could get on this airplane and die, you know, you might not even drive in your car. Absolutely. Because if you, you can't re- live in fear like that, right. I get that. So you get on the airplane, you're like, nothing bad's going to happen. And when I drive, well, when I drive normally, I'm okay. But when I drive with you in LA, I'm always, <laughs> I always feel like I'm going to die. <laughs> Praise Jesus. I'm praising Jesus, and I don't even believe in him. I'm like, I know you don't love me. <laughs> But, he and loves, I know what, I knew you were going to say you. that. I knew you were going to. I me. set you up because I know you so well. But I'm sitting there like, I know. No, I think he blocked me. But <laughs> other than that, like, I know you blocked me, but can you just get me? What is the main highway here we always drive on? Death Row? <laughs> the 101? Oh, the one. I live by the 101 in San Francisco. Really? And it's just different when you're in the wheel, behind the wheel. <laughs> I feel like when we come to the studio, it's on. We get on the 101 to go to the studio. I feel like I'm in that movie 2012. Oh my god! When they're driving through and the whole city's falling apart. (laughs) There can't be miracles. That's you. you But um, (laughs) I completely lost track of what I was talking about. But you know, I think people don't want to put themselves in is gonna yeah, it's gonna happen so they're like i don't have to pay attention, pay attention to, to that how to do this how, why do i care how to put the oxygen mask on well well we know what happened so back you know a couple months ago we all know the southwest story flight 1380 um where that the mom from albuquerque yeah. died on the flight yes. because the engine blew up and Correct. the window cracked and opened up and she was so in the debris window from the engine 
Yeah, she got sucked halfway yeah, the, out. The the, the, um, the the debris from the engine hit the window and broke the window. Yes. And she got and sucked. She had a lot partial of, outside of the aircraft. And and for, I don't want to go into too much yeah, detail about yeah. that because it's very sad. It and is very sad. And but apparently, you know, um, reports say she died instantly. So that's how I'd want to go. But um, and she had lots of trauma to her upper body. But she had her seatbelt on. If she would not have had her seatbelt on, her body she'd be would gone. Be gone. They had to pull her back, back in. That seatbelt belt saved, saved her. her. Absolutely. So, ladies and gentlemen. I don't understand why okay, this, anyone you know, does look, not you wear their exactly seatbelt. what I was going to say. On the aircraft. At any moment. At any moment. It does, does it burn? Like, does it hurt? Like, you can make it as loose as possible. Yeah, you can fit three people you in there. Fit, you can like, have a threesome. You, you, exactly. I just can't. I don't that. understand why... It's that difficult to, to wear a seatbelt. And it's that, and people hide it or they don't even hide it. I'm like, people if, don't care. People don't care. I mean, if it's genuinely dragging on the floor, I, I have to say somebody, something to you. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, if you're sitting behind it on purpose and like got a blanket over you, like when we do a compliance check, I'm going to say, I need to see your seatbelts. Like, your hello, seat I need to see. I, ha let, I have to do my job. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna do my job. I don't understand. Does it? But I genuinely want to know. Does it burn? Is it that much of a pain in the butt to like wear a seatbelt? No, I think what happens. What is it? Is, do they just want to like mm -mm. screw the page? Like I don't know what it is. No, like I just had to take a sip of water. No, um, I don't get it. What it is is, and I think this is what this is what the main concern is with people. They see the seatbelt sign go off, and they don't think it means. Okay, the seatbelt sign is, well, first of all, when the seatbelt sign comes off, that means if you have to get up to stretch your legs or, or to bathroom. walk to the bathroom, lavatory, you can do that. Okay. But anytime your ass is in that fucking seat, no go. matter what, there's a fuck, there's two. She loves to keep track of my fucks. I just I've for been, myself. I've been doing better. You've been doing great. I've been doing amazing. I, you rub off on me a little bit. I do one, I drop one or two I now. love it when you drop them. Um, but anytime your ass is in that seat, your seatbelt should be on, no questions asked, we should, exclamation mark, I'm done. Because rapid decompressions happen, massive turbulence happens. And that's what this was, a rapid decompression. Yeah. The window blew out, the lady yeah. went out yeah. almost, and the oxygen mask And, the, mask and the oxygen masks will drop at that point. So I've been on rescue flights mm -hmm. for um, as a reserve. Um, so like if something goes wrong, there was a massive turbulence and the plane got destroyed and people went to the hospital and yada, yada, yada. So they ferry a flight out with a crew to like rescue those people basically. So take the rest of the, the passengers who are not um, uh, in the hospital, the rest of the crew, whoever's, you know, whatever's going on, take them back to their destination or wherever they're supposed to go. And those people were shook. Right. Like, obviously, you know what I mean? The lab's destroyed, the galley's a mess, blah, 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 blah. And they're, they're, they're like white as a ghost. Right. And I've had people grab my arm and be like, I will never not wear my seatbelt ever again. There you go. And I was... So it doesn't take almost it, dying? Does that... Really? Does it does it have to get it to that shouldn't. point? Because when you drive in a car, you wear a seatbelt. When you get to the red light and you stop, you don't take your seatbelt off. Yeah. Like, or you're going 500 miles an hour on an airplane in a metal tube through the sky. Mm -hmm. Wear your seatbelt. Wear your seatbelt. Or like p parents being like, they won't put their my child, the, my, the kid, they won't put their seatbelt on. Well, do they wear a seatbelt in the car? Still have to do that. Oh, in the I air. always say, parent your child. No, yeah. I'm done. I can't even. But yeah, wear your seatbelt when, if you take anything out of this whole episode. Please wear your seatbelt. Wear your seatbelt when please, you're seated. Because we don't tell you, everything we tell you is because something bad happened. Yeah. Um, and it's not because I want to be a pain in the butt or like, because I want, because I want to have a conversation with you and just to be annoying. No, I like, don't even want to talk to you. No, <laughs> no, it's more just, just do it because it's a safety related thing. Um, all the pictures that they had. From that, um, from Inside that the incident, aircraft, yeah. they all had their oxygen masks were off. That um, no, like they were on their chin me. over their mouth, and I was like, and you know this the um, the internet went crazy on these people. Like, Absolutely, and then of course because there was a ton of pictures, right? And then of course people were saying, how dare you attack these people? No, 
because they were they were traumatized. You know what? I'm the flight attendant, and when I'm tr- when if that happened while well, I'm supposed to be up running around saving you, yeah. So if I can handle that shit, you can fucking watch the safety demonstration yes. and know how to put the oxygen yes. mask. Do on. Do you know I started changing after that happened months ago? I started changing my safety demo for myself. Really? I start to point when I do the mask over your nose and mouth. I start to point to my nose and my mouth oh. and put it on there because, like, do I re- do I really need to do that? Does everyone need hand holding? But yes, apparently. Well, you have to think as a flight attendant when you're on the airplane, and people will probably hate this. Yeah. But it's like taking care of a daycare center. Yeah. So you do have to say, this is your nose and, and this, this is, is your, your mouth. mouth and cover them both. Cover them so both you're out. not taking pictures. On an airplane that's had a rapid decompression, you look like a moron. Also, why are you taking a selfie when the airplane is in a decompression? Well, because when I'm about to die, I'm going to take a photo of myself. <laughs> I wanted that to be the last picture I put up on Instagram. Right. I, I like, don't want to look and see, oh, that was LJ when I knew her. Mm, Sad. But it's the same no. thing with the, um, let's go to the next thing. Let's go to why do we tell people to push their bags all the way under the seat oh in front God. of them? Yes. Why? It's because... If there is an emergency and evacuation, you have to get out of the aircraft in 90 seconds. You, if your bag isn't all the way under the seat in front of you, you are going to trip over that bag, or the person next, next to you is going to trip over trip the over bag, bag, and then they're going to get trampled on, and they're going to die on the airplane. So I'm not being a pain in the butt, just being like, it needs to be completely underneath the seat in front of you, flat, not between your legs, because it's probably if it's between your legs, it's blocking the life vest, which is underneath your seat. Mm-hmm. So that's number one. Right. So it has to go all the way completely underneath the seat in front of you, and your feet have to fit flat on the floor. I always, t- when when people, when I say, oh, my God, please put, I don't say, oh, my God, but I'm like, please put your bag under the seat in front Do of I. you. And they say, why? I used to, I used to, now, I used to say, I don't even remember what I used to say, but now I say, oh, because if you have to get out of the airplane really quick, you could trip over the bag, and then you're going to get trampled and die. No, do you really say I that say now? I say that now. I'm like, right. so, you know, and then they're like, they push it all the way yeah, under. Yeah, that's good. And then I'll I actually, always say it, you're blocking the life vest. Mm-hmm. I always say that now. Oh, I say you're going to die. Oh, okay, great. Um, mm-hmm. And then I say you could kill the person in the window. I'll let you two fight that out. Yeah, you, yeah. like, and then the I window person's say, like, yeah, put your bag under I, the seat. I stop it with, if especially if it's the middle person or the person on the aisle. I said, this has to go all the way underneath the seat in front of you. It cannot be blocking that person's mm. exit out of the, the aisle. See, I'm trying to get fired. <laughs> so I say, you're going to die if you don't push your bag all the way under the seat. I'll be in the back. I'm right by the door, I have so a, I'm good. Are you, <laughs> you're like, I'm out first. Bye. Yeah, I'm going to look down, and if I you see you tripping over the bag, I'm grabbing a baby, and I'm going. I'm grabbing a baby. Always grab a baby. Because when the cameras are on you with the news, you oh want to be able to, like, God. I had to get out, and I here I a saved baby. a baby. <laughs> Listen, I know what to do. Oh, my God. I have a few more leisure trips to do before I get fired. Yeah. Well, you'll no. never Knock get on fired. Wire. Knock on some wood. No, I'm trying to. <laughs> it's no. just not happening. No. I'm kidding. No, I want to take my babies on, like, trips around the world. That's what I want to do. Oh, you and the babies. No, I'm not saying... I'm not working that flight because I know your kids are going to be out of fucking control. My kid? And my I'm kid gonna is going to be an angel. I'm going to be like, I'm going to punch you and your mom <laughs> if you don't <laughs> sit down because I'm dying to say that to somebody. That's okay. You can say that to me. Go ahead. But anyway, and then, continue. And then what's the other thing we do in the safety demonstration that people need to pay attention to? Seatbelts. We did seatbelts, bags under the seat in front of you. We air talked masks. about uh, um, oxygen ma- air masks, masks. Air masks. Ass masks. <laughs> I know. Air masks. Ass. Life vests. Life vests Life under vest. your seat. See, Put them on. on. Really. Get the fuck out. Get out. That's what I would say. Get out. Um, Life vests. Uh, start like twitching and doing commands. I um, I was doing the uh, the safety demonstration a couple weeks ago, mm-hmm. and <laughs> it was the part where they're like, you know, you know, inflate the vest outside the aircraft, yes, not, see, inside, yeah, not inside, or however, inside the aircraft. Yeah. Whatever it is, I don't even remember. And this woman commented like, "I'm gonna inflate it right away." So I waited. Yeah, of course. So you're done. And then I walked over to her and I said, oh, I heard you said you were going to inflate it right away. And she goes, yeah, why wouldn't I? And I said, well, this is why. Because if we're sinking <laughs> and you inflate it right away, water's coming into the airplane. You're going to float to, to the, the top, top. And you can't get out. And you're going to drown. And you're going to die. <laughs> I think and that's side important. note, I love the like the slow pause. And, and you're, you're going to die. die. And then she's like, I never thought it. That's why that's we why tell we you this do shit. This. Yeah, We're not, not my first rodeo. Listen, I'm not up here because I'm bored for three minutes. No. I could be in the back reading the People magazine with yeah. Oprah on the front. Yeah. No, <sighs> no, 
No, I'm here to yeah. try to save you. I've noticed- also it could pop on, like in the aircraft before you're outside of the aircraft right. because there's if depending on how jacked the airplane is, right. it can get caught on something, ripped on something, da 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 da, and then all of a sudden you're popped, right? And you get out of the aircraft. Don't try to grab onto my life vest. Because I'm already in the, oh, I'm, listen, I am already in the raft pulling a Titanic. <laughs> like, Joe, there's only three people in here. There's no room. <laughs> the plane sinking. There's no room. Joe, people are, there's no room. Keep going. I see the Bahamas. I'm done. You're out. Done. And then You're I quit. Done. Yeah. Because yeah. after that, if I'm in the water, I'm yeah. done. Also, if you dare bring a bag to my slide. If you dare bring a bag to my slide. If, if I have to blow a slide and you bring all your luggage up front to like, evacuate the aircraft right i'm gonna lose my mind well, i'm doing i'm gonna physically take it out of your hand and chuck it oh i personally think if you do that you should stay on the airplane and whatever <laughs> happens to you happens to you Good. best of luck because you know um i don't remember i i'm not making this up no there I, was just pictures somewhat recently i saw of people exiting i don't know maybe i was doing like was I doing recurrent or something like that? I was seeing because, like, we have to do yes, classes it, online. It was a recurrent training. It was a recurrent training. training thing. And I saw pictures because they show you pictures of, like, evacuations and stuff like that. Right. Of, like, people with, like, literally bag, luggage, this, that. I was, like, laughing. And, the, and, the I was, like, and it was an American Airlines plane and it was on fire. Yeah. And you were going down my slide with bags. I would lose my mind. Well, here's the thing. Mind. As flight attendants, we. Everyone's like, I'm not. I'll leave my stuff and bop, 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 bop. Oh my God. I don't even know what I would do. I, like, I don't. I, I, I would probably like, would leave take your it. bag. I would be so mad. I would, I would be, yeah. But I think that's I'd, why you grab a baby and go. Because, <laughs> you know, we're trained that it's so, it's so it's an, like we say you switch. You you switch off right. and you go into like that's what happens in recurrent. I switch off and I turn into a a robot. And I think that's what right. they want you to be right. in that situation. Absolutely. They want you to be fit. That's why training and all that kind of they fatigue you so much that you can yell commands and evacuate an aircraft at any time of day and night. Right. And be able to do that and be very shout com- you're supposed to shout the commands you're not supposed to just say the commands you, you have don't to have shout to be them. polite at this you don't time. have to be polite and at that point i pray and hope that my airline would back me up with right. whatever i did in that moment right. of saying me shouting commands and of getting everybody off that aircraft right. that's you, the only thing that matters you, yeah at that point you don't have to be polite and no. say oh i'm sorry can you leave i'm the sorry bag? you can't take your bag right now because like the airplane's on fire and if somebody gets into debate with me i'm gonna lose my mind well let me tell the you the only what, thing i would be nervous about is like if somebody has a bag and it's like a dog or like a cat or well, something yeah, no, like you that take i would your, you put it on your lap you put, and you slide. yeah sit and slide or jump in but the sometimes like i would like see a bag and like my brain would go ah bag Throw it out. You know what I mean? And, and it's like fluffy. it's a child. <laughs> it's like a dog. And I would like be in the newspaper right. and be sued because I, you know, you threw, threw a dog, dog when I was thought I was throwing a bag. I'm that would be, be the wa- only thing that I'm was stressing be wa- me out. You'll be watching the news and you'll be they'll be like, flight attendant Joe threw a baby out. Well, he was kind of <laughs> catch it. Um no, let me share with you what happened Sorry, a, a couple lot. weeks ago. No. What um, um so you know, we have Security. It's my pres- stomach. Can you hear my stomach growling? I could hear your stomach. I'm so sorry. I thought there was a dog. <laughs> no, it's my stomach. I'm starving. Have you sorry. Eaten? I did earlier. Do you need to eat again? I only eat like very little. Well, because it's bathing suit season. Your and- stomach is conk blocking my conversation. <laughs> sorry. So, um, you know, we have security procedures when the pilots have to come out of the flight deck. Yes. During a break. Correct. So, one of the things we have to do is if we're Wait, set you up- can't talk about security stuff, right? Well, I can't tell details, but yeah. I can tell this story. Okay, good. So I was standing up there while the pilots were coming out for okay, a for laboratory break. break. Gotcha. Wait, you were in the flight deck? No, I was outside. Oh, you were outside. Gallop. Okay, gotcha. And some guys like, started what? walking towards oh, me. Oh, and you said no. And I said, no, sir, back up, please. And I put yeah. my hand up, yeah. the international sign. For stop. And he looked at me funny, and he goes, I have to go to the bathroom. And I said, I understand that, sir. There's two in the back, but I can't have you come any closer. Yes. Does that sound rude? No. So after the fact, and whenever that happens, I always go make back a, to make that a mental note to make I a note. Say, yeah. Hi, just so you know, when the pilots come out, you can't be coming up totally. to the galley. Totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I go to the. I couldn't find him, so gotcha. I go to the back galley, and I'm in my back galley, and then he comes up to me and he goes, "You know, you could have been a little bit nicer to me." And I said, "Excuse me." Yeah. And he goes, "You know, 
you're so nice. I've been watching you all fly. You're so sweet and nice. But when that happened, oh my God, you just turned. I just spit on your tit. That was, that's the, probably the. <laughs> Not the first time. That's probably the first time in a long time there's anything went wet on that. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, but so, um, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my but, um, God. Am I right? No, shut up. <laughs> I'm right. Okay, I'm right. I, so, did, I did break my vibrator the other day. It's fine. <laughs> I'm trying to talk about some security stuff, and now we're uh, talking about your vibrator. Okay, you broke continue. a vibrator. <laughs> I know somebody who broke a vibrator once. It's fine. But, I have um, a backup. <laughs> I'm sleeping outside. Oh, um, So... I said to him, I'm sorry, sir, what do you mean? And he goes, you just seem so mean. And I said, no, sir, unfortunately, you just can't come up to the gallery. I understand that. But isn't there a nicer way you can say that? No. And I was like, unfortunately, sir, at that situation, no. I can't be trying to explain to and you And have things. A, a conversation with you. You need to back the fuck up. Yeah, that's the only thing that matters. And I don't even say that. Mm-hmm. I say, sir, please, you know, yeah. don't come any closer. We're doing a lab break. I need you to go to back yeah. to the airplane. And um, he was just like, it, you could have just been nicer. No. And then I was done that with That was him. done, yeah. And I was like, well, thanks for your feedback. Have a seat. The seatbelt sign's on. Yep. That's it. But I thought, really? Yeah. Like, no, I actually don't have to be nice. No, I don't in that When moment. I'm doing a... You're coming at me... No. ...when we're doing a security thing? No. Nope. No. Absolutely not. I could attack you. Yeah. And I have that right to. I could beat the shit out of you... With the oxygen mask, you don't know how to put on your face. <laughs> and you can't say anything. And you about can't it. say anything. Just go, like, like yeah, like, and I'm always nice. You know, I personally feel when you look up and you see com- you see something happening in, up front and the flight attendant puts the international stop and says, don't, you know, please yeah. back up, yeah. use the labs in the back. There should be no, no question. question. There's no argument. There's no question. That's it. Don't. You That's know, it. You know, That's don't the say, conversation's over. don't stand there and ask why, don't stand there and ask the time, when we're landing, can yeah. I have another ginger ale? No. no. Don't hand me trash. When Nothing. I put the international stop sign up. That's it. You back up. Yep, that's it. So that happened the other day, and I was heated for like five hours. I, I couldn't imagine. stop thinking about it. I was like, this fucking guy, like, he yeah. could be Al-Qaeda. You never know. He could be ISIS. Well, he could have to shit, too. Yeah. But <laughs> that's probably but you, the truth. But you don't know. But you don't know. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes when I have to shit, it sounds like ISIS. Jesus. <laughs> it comes out like a bomb. <laughs> oh, my God. Boom, 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 psh. So, but um, I've had a woman, like, wave me, not wave me down. Um, I've had, uh, I was not the lead flight attendant at the time. I was in the back. And right. I've had the lead flight attendant call me and be like, hey, can you go to this row? They haven't read their, rang their call button, but they're waving me down and I can't because we're taking care of the pilots at this sure. time. And the woman was like, not like was livid because, well, it, why is she just standing there? Why can't she come in like, to, like, hello? Like, I don't right. understand what the problem is. Well, and I had to say, well, there's a barricade and they're taking care of the, the pilots right, right. now. She, she can't. Right. You know what I mean? Well, I don't. No, we're doing security matters. That's what's important. What I think, and I'm not going to go into details with her right, on yeah, what our security know, ma- yeah, matters are. Right, she doesn't need to know. Exactly. That's it. I think that it's the the idea of oh, I'm the passenger. I get so, everything I want whenever I want. And sometimes on the airplane, that's not possible. Patience is important. So, okay, so we talked about oxygen masks. We talked about bags under the seat. We actually ended up talking about yeah. don't walk up to the flight deck. Yeah. Don't walk up to the galley when there's a security thing going yeah. on. We talked about the life vest. Yeah. Side note, don't take videos of me because I'll slap you. Yeah, don't do that. Um, you can't take videos of security matters. Yeah, like don't try to. You can't do that. But, yeah, what else? What else is there in the safety Well, didn't somebody show? else, no didn't, smoking. not somebody else, but. Um, that should be a no-brainer. No vaping either. That stuff sets it off too. Oh, and yeah. now I've had people vape and I'm like, oh, it's not smoking. Yeah, actually. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But go ahead. It still sets them off. But d- wasn't there another Southwake? Southwest flight that had a broken window or something like that? Oh my god, like like three weeks, two or three weeks after the um the, the horrible first inc- woman the, who passed the, away. Yeah, that incident. Um, I think there was a crack 
in one of the windows, Jeez. and they were flying from Chicago to Newark. They had to divert. They obviously. had to divert to Cleveland, and it was because one of the windows cracked during the flight. Cracked or broke open? No, just it didn't a crack. crack open. It just started cracking, and oh. a piece of the outside portion flew off, I think, or something. Um, that's. They heard a, like a loud noise, and then there was a crack in the middle. But that's why you just never, you never know. No. And that's not a com- gonna happen. But that's not a common occurrence. And it happened on Southwest, like boom, boom. I always feel like things happen in threes. Ooh. So it's like boom, right boom, after boom. one at rest, right like, after another. Y- yeah, that that's happens. Not good. Um, but then um, what happened back like last year, there was that Air Canada flight that was landing at San Francisco, and then it was landing on a runway where there was a plane ready to take off. <gasps> and that could have been oh, a catastrophe. Oh, that could have been a disaster. So, so, yes, air travel is safe. It's safer than driving in your of car. Course, yes. But things can happen, and that's why safety is so important. I mean, I would like to know from our audience or whatever why you don't want to listen to the safety demo, why you don't listen to the safety dem- demo, why you choose to. Right. Talk and it's okay over if you it. don't. Yeah. Just shut up. I think that's a big thing. Why you don't want to wear your seatbelt. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm curious on to, to know what the. The thought process is. Well, I think it's like, oh, well, you know. I've done this a thousand times. But, like, I don't like people who tell me how to do, like, who think that they can do my job. Right. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I know I fly all the time. Okay. Then you should know better if you fly all the time. Right. (laughs) You know. Yeah. I I just think stay in your seat. Like, if you're in your seat, wear your seatbelt. Push your bag all the way under the seat in front of you. Know where your life vest is. Know where your life vest is. Know where your closest exit Exit is. is. Thank you. Um, anything can happen at any moment yeah. and you just have to be prepared. And if you don't want, I don't care if you want to watch the safety. I don't care if you want to listen. You don't. I don't. Yeah. Just don't talk over it for somebody. Per- you're right. hindering somebody else. Right. Somebody next to you may be the first time. Mm-hmm. There are people that have never flown on airplanes. Exactly. People are embarrassed of that too sometimes. So. I agree. What do you think? Sorry, cracking my knuckles. Oh my god! I'm the worst. It's like it's like I have a dude as a co-host. I am kind of a dude. You're you're very, very manly. <laughs> no, no, I don't this mean is it like horrendous. that. No, 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 great. No, I don't mean manly. I just mean butch. No, that's not oh what I mean either. Oh my god! Well, you just said you're dude like, and then when I, I, do I say have, it, I have certain dude like tendencies. What is what is your biggest? We're, dude? We don't have so time to go oh, into that. Oh, we're that. done, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna stop right there. But talk to one of my best friends, Dallas or Eric. They'll tell you. Oh. Yeah, they'll tell you. Are my... they flight attendants? No. Well, Eric is a flight attendant. Dallas is just a. a dad okay three boys and he's like you're like a dude anytime i want to like go out for a drink with a guy i call you i was like thanks we've gotten trashed at an irish bar before oh yes we have that was fun yeah you're but i think we're done right? yeah we're done we're gonna wrap it up we're gonna wrap it up gentlemen you got that right please if you don't want to listen to the safety demonstration just don't talk over it keep your trap shut keep everything shut (laughs) Lock it up. <laughs> Lock it up in the overhead bin, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ding, ding. We're done here today. So we're done. Thank you for listening in. Thanks for checking us out. We love having you. We love doing this for you. Take it away, LJ. Fly safe, birdies. This is Confessions on the Fly, and I'm LJ. And I am flight. You know who am I? Flight attendant Joe. Jesus. I was going to come up with something witty, and then I just, just it stop. was like a brick hit. In we're the wall. done. Bye. Bye. Bye.